This spiritual maturity is a must. As more people begin to speak the word of God, remember everyone is not anointed by God or have the spirit of God living in them. The Lord spoke to us long ago about false prophets in Jeremiah 23 verse 22. If they had stood in my counsel, they would have proclaimed my words to my people and would have turned them from their evil ways and from their evil deeds. Some of you are more faithful to wolves in sheep's clothing who lures you away from the path of righteousness than to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the way to eternal and everlasting life. God is pouring out his spirit to his sons and daughters, and we are receiving his word to prepare for the day of the Lord, while the wolves are still speaking to worldly things in order to keep you in bondage. The word of God has always and will always be holy and pure, teaching us how to become holy and pure so we can inherit the kingdom of God, teaching us to no longer be in the realm of flesh, but to elevate to the realm of the spirit. Being born of God, no longer continuing in sin, made alive in Christ and dead in the flesh. Beloved, I pray you receive spiritual maturity in the Lord so you can truly discern the voice of the good shepherd. I pray you learn how to test the spirit so you are not led astray by wolves and sheep's clothing. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are on one accord to save God's children from the evil one and lead them on the path of righteousness that leads to eternal life. And one who speaks the word of God, who truly receives the spirit of God, will be in alignment with them.